Major League Baseball to Salt Lake City. Is it just a pipe dream or is it real? Well, it, it's feeling pretty real when Gail Miller, former owner of the Utah Jazz, said, our family's in. We want Major League Baseball to come to Utah. We are a sports family. We are a sports state. Utah is the state of sport. There are a number of compelling reasons that you'll hear more about today about why our family and a number of incredible friends and partners have joined together in a coalition to bring Major League Sports Baseball to Utah. Now, the next big question is, who is our competition? Who are we going against? There's some East Coast cities and there's some West Coast cities. Let me start with the East Coast. Nashville, Charlotte, and Montreal. Uh, Montreal has already been, obviously, in the Major League Baseball. They've hosted a, a team before, but they also lost the Expos. Let's look on the West side. You've got Portland, Salt Lake, and Vegas. The big question the Millers had was, is this even a possibility? So. They wanted to see a feasibility study. We spoke to one of the authors that broke down each of these cities. It's just going to be a really competitive marketplace when you think that of who the competitors are. Uh, you're going to be competing with Charlotte. You're going to be competing with Portland, with Nashville, and also with Las Vegas, which has seen explosive growth over the last five years for professional sports. In my opinion, Las Vegas was by far the biggest competition to getting a Major League Baseball team. Vegas is so good for so many reasons. Number one, it's a destination city, right? A lot of tourists. This is a place that people come from around the world to visit. 60 major casinos down in Vegas. They have almost endless resources when it comes to corporate sponsorship. The problem they might run into is do they have enough bodies? Do they have enough residents in the area to fill up that stadium? Remember, Major League Baseball plays 81 games a year. You're trying to fill that bad boy up. You can't just do it with tourists. Now, with the Oakland Athletics deciding to move to Las Vegas, they signed some binding agreements. They're going to build a stadium, a new stadium in Las Vegas because the Oakland Coliseum is an absolute dump. Uh, in fact, fun little story. The New York Mets announcing team, radio team, went to announce at the Oakland Coliseum a game between the Mets and the A's, and they found possums living in the radio booth. Possums, a disgusting, stinky mess, and they couldn't broadcast from that booth, so they had to move. Oakland Coliseum, a disaster. It's garbage. They've been trying to rebuild that stadium for a long time. They couldn't come to an agreement. That's why the Oakland A's are ending up in Las Vegas. So, does that create a geographical problem? Even though you're removing the competition for future uh, expansion leagues and, and that improves the chance for Salt Lake City, the problem is geographically. Is it too much for Major League Baseball to have a team in Colorado with the Rockies, Las Vegas, and also Salt Lake? You have to take a look at several factors, including geographically what's happening there now, because you'd have a team in Vegas, you'd have another team in uh, Denver. And so Salt Lake's kind of in the middle, five and a half hour drive from uh, Vegas, eight hour drive from Denver. Does it make sense for the owners to have three Western markets so tightly close together? And then when you look in the East Coast, you know, there's a much larger population. And so the markets are different. So there are a lot of factors you have to take into account there. You have to take into account, of course, TV market sizes as well. Um, just for reference, Charlotte um, is, you know, among these comparables, Charlotte is the 21st largest TV market. Then you have Portland at 22, Nashville at 27, Salt Lake City 29, and then Vegas, which rounds out the top 40. Um, then from a market population standpoint, you have Charlotte, which is first at about 2.7 million. Portland 2.6, you have Vegas at 2.3, Nashville 2.1, then you have Salt Lake City. That market is at 1.3 million. So MLB is going to have to weigh all those things in terms of, you know, for any additional franchise or relocation, what value are they going to bring on a national scale for uh, national revenues, uh, for TV rights deals? Uh, are they going to be taking from the pie? Are they going to be adding to the pie? And also from a corporate standpoint as well, you know, what's the corporate base look like? 
um, in each market? Uh, is there enough corporate dollars to spread around as well? Part of what makes the bids so attractive in Salt Lake City is they have an incredible ownership group led by Gail Miller. Gail Miller and the family have had so much success with the Utah Jazz. In the past, they've negotiated television contracts. Uh, they increased the value of the Utah Jazz when they bought it for $22 million back in 1985 to $1.7 billion when they sold it to Ryan Smith. So they know how to grow a brand to create an environment. I, I played junior jazz basketball 35 years ago. So having a strong ownership group is great. They also have Major League Baseball alumni support with former Major League Baseball great Dale Murphy. We have an owner in place. We have property in place. We have infrastructure in place. We have the demographics in our population uh, ready to go and a growing population and a business climate that is supportive. And you mentioned the governor being there and the mayor was there. Uh, this thing, it takes a lot of team members, not just Big League Utah team headed by Steve Starks, but it's going to take everybody. And right now, everybody's on board. And uh, that is, uh, you know, an amazing start. They also have state and local leader support. We spoke to Speaker of the House in the Utah Legislature, Brad Wilson. So, I mean, it would just be such a great thing to add to our state's uh, culture. And it's such a family sport. I mean, it's just such a great uh, thing to, to do as a family to go hang out at a baseball Couldn't game. Couldn't agree more. Seems like everybody is on board right now. It is a sea of yeses. But... Are there any no's out there? I guess that's the next round of questions. Feel free to throw a comment below and tell us why, no, 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 no. Salt Lake is a terrible place for Major League Baseball.